Hi, I'm Dr. Andy Thompson and I'm a rheumatologist. Today I'm going to talk about golimumab for the treatment of inflammatory arthritis. You can visit our website www.roominfo.com and print off one of our golimumab picto pamphlets to follow along with this video. Golimumab is also known as Symphony. Golimumab is taken by an injection under the skin just once a month. A nurse can teach you how to give the injections and a friend or family member can also help with your injections. Some people can feel better quite quickly after starting golimumab, but for others it can take a little longer. Now there are a few things you need to do when taking golimumab. You should discuss these with your doctor. First, golimumab can make it slightly harder for you to fight off infections. You should stop taking golimumab if you develop a fever, if you think you have an infection, or if you're given antibiotics to treat an infection. Second, before starting golimumab, you should have a skin test and chest x-ray to make sure you've never had an infection called tuberculosis before. And finally, you should have occasional blood tests while taking golimumab. This is important to keep track of your arthritis and make sure your blood counts are okay. Golimumab can rarely cause a reaction at the injection site. These usually aren't a big problem. Golimumab should be stopped before surgery. It can be restarted once things have healed and there's no signs of infection. If you're having surgery, talk to your doctor about when to stop the medication. Golimumab hasn't been properly studied in pregnancy. Let your doctor know if you're pregnant, planning to get pregnant, or if you're breastfeeding. Patients have very rarely developed conditions of the nervous system and the immune system while taking medications like golimumab. You should discuss this with your doctor. Finally, medications like golimumab have been rarely associated with the development of cancer. Let your doctor know if you've had cancer before. If you're taking golimumab, you should call your doctor if you feel sick and want to stop, if you're concerned about any side effects, or if you've stopped or want to stop the medication for any reason at all. For golimumab, there are a few other specific reasons to call your doctor. If you have a fever or think you have an infection, if you're planning surgery, if you're pregnant or planning to get pregnant, if you plan to get any vaccinations, or if you develop a rash. I hope you found this video to be useful. For more information, please refer to our website at www.roominfo.com.